Assuming that the frog and the butterfly are both both flew into Canada and obtained their Canadian citizenship, are they both Canadian? How can they both be Canadian if they are so different, both culturally and physically? Growing up in a very traditional home, uh, my dad always spoke to me in Ukrainian and if my father did not speak to me in Ukrainian, I always wondered would I have learned that language and would I have been able to preserve or have those cultural values that I hold dear in my heart uh, as a Ukrainian Canadian. And the question is, does me being Ukrainian Canadian take away from me being a Canadian at all? Or is it that I am Canadian by being Ukrainian? By being who I am? Why is it that people feel that in order for them to become Canadian, they have to throw away their, their native culture? That is not the case. Why is it that here in Canada we talk about it being a cultural mosaic when honestly from what I've seen it's more of like a throw it on the wall and see what sticks. For a cultural mosaic every piece is put in. When there's someone new that comes in that piece, their culture is placed on that mosaic and it's not there temporarily until it falls off. It's there forever. Being Ukrainian Canadian is very important to me. Not just because it's a culture worth preserving and I'm proud of the accomplishments of my ancestors, but it's who I am. It's in my blood. It's how I how I live. Without these, without my culture, I really lose a big part of me. And I'm worried because I want to pass this, uh, uh, this culture, my culture, who I am, onto my kids as well. Canadians should have the right to be able to educate their children in their native language not just English and French. English and French may be the official languages of Canada, but there are many unofficial languages which Canadians speak. For example, I uh, speak both English and Ukrainian, and a bit of French as well. And actually my dad taught me a little bit of Chinese, but the point is, we need to start being able educating our children languages because languages are the gateway to cultures. Without a language, it is very difficult to preserve one's culture and maintain our cultural mosaic as Canada. Also, every single one of these cultures, including Ukrainian, Italian, Chinese, native, all of these cultures are Canadian cultures. They are part of Canada. And without them, Canada is not, not the same. Canadian does not only mean English. It means everybody.